Hello, my name is Mrs. Chapman, and in this pro in this video, we're going to solve real-world problems using order of operations. I have a word problem here. The first thing I'm going to do is read the word problem. A Bath and Body Store sells lotions for five dollars, candles for seven dollars, and lip balms for two dollars. Write an expression for the total cost of three lotions and four lip balms. Then find the total cost. The first thing I'm going to do, they ask and actually asking me to do two things. The first thing is to write an expression. The second thing they want me to do is to find the total cost. I'm going to solve this problem by organizing my information and using a table. Now notice I'm going to get out my highlighter and they want us to write an expression for the total cost of three lotions and four lip balms. So I have lotions and lip balms. I need to know how much the lotions are. Well, they sell lotions for five dollars. And they sell lip balms for two dollars. In my problem, they want me to write an expression for three lotions. So I have one lotion, two lotions, I'm putting in this, and three lotions. And we have four lip balms. One lip balm, two lip balms, three lip balms, four lip balms. Now right off the bat, based on this table, I can go ahead and find the total cost. That would be 5, 10, 15. I'm going to spend $15 on lotions and 2, 4, 6, $8 on lip balms. If I add these together, 15 plus 8, I'm going to get 23. So I'm going to spend a total of $23. Great. I have my, total, I have my answer. So I'm done. No, you're only going to get half the problem right. The reason being is because there's two questions here. Uh, yes, we did find the total cost, but they want you to write an expression. When I do this, I have 5 plus 5 plus 5, or to shorten it, I can say 3 times 5, which will give me the 15, plus I have 1, 2, 3, 4 times the $2, which will give me the 8, and I'm going to add the 15 first, and then I'm going to add the 8, and then once I get these answers, I'm going to get my total answer of $23. So here is your expression. And it's a great use of order of operations because it all depends on what you want to solve first in order to get your answer. You're not going to solve 5 plus 4 or 3 times 2. You're not going to do that. You're not going to get the same answer. Okay? So, there's my expression. Am I done? Yes. I have my expression and I have my total cost. And just a little tidbit, just a reminder, an expression is something you solve. Uh, it does not have an equal sign, so therefore it's not an equation. Let's go on to the second one. 
first I'm going to read the problem. Alexis and three friends are shopping at the mall. They decide to go stop for a snack. Each person buys a pretzel for $3 and a dipping sauce for a dollar and a drink for $2. Write an expression for the total cost of the snacks. So once again, I have my first problem. They want me to write an expression. And then they want me to find the total cost. So let's go ahead and do it. I'm going to set up a table. I have Alexis and three friends. So that means I have Alexis, friend number one, friend number two, friend number three, which gives me a total of four people. Okay? Be careful with that. They decide to go shopping for a snack. Each person buys a hot pretzel. For three dollars. So each person's going to spend three dollars. They buy a dipping sauce for a dollar. And a drink for two dollars. There's a couple different ways I can do this. First, I'm going to go ahead and use this table and find my total cost. I can say 3 plus 1 is 4 plus 2 is 6. Since they're all buying the same thing, I can say that they're all spending $6. And 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6 will give me 24 or total cost of $24. Another way to solve it is saying 3 times 1, 2, 3, 4 or 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 is 12 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 4 and 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 is 8 which will also give me $24. Okay, that's another way to do it. I still have to answer number one. Write an expression. And when you write an expression, you need to think about how you solved it. I just gave two different ways of solving it to get the total cost. Now let's put this together in an expression so it's all nice and neat. If you notice, if I solved going down, I have four friends, and first they bought a hot pretzel at three dollars. Four times three will give me the twelve. Plus, I have four friends. They bought a dipping sauce for a dollar each. That'll give me four or my four right here, plus I had four friends that bought a drink, four friends times a drink at two dollars and four times two will give me the eight. And I put these in parentheses because here's my pretzel, my dipping sauce, and my drink. Notice I don't have to put an equation because it's not an equation. They asked me to write an expression. And there I go. I'm going to multiply each one by four. And the order of operations come in this section because you want to solve how much are they spending on a pretzel, how much are they spending on a dipping sauce, and how much are they spending on a drink. Thank you for watching.